What's up guys and welcome to this video. What we're doing today is we're going to be going over how to remove water spots from your boat. So I know a lot of you guys are out there on the water on, you know, on the boat and you bring it in, you drive it home, you come home and you see water spots all over the back end of the boat. You don't know how to get them off. You wash and wash and wash and they just won't come off. So what we're going to be doing today is going over a few things you can do to remove water spots from your boat and how to prevent water spots from returning. Don't forget to subscribe guys if you haven't already and I hope you enjoy this video. So in doing some research on uh, these water spot removal techniques or whatever, um, I'm going to try a couple different techniques and we're going to see how they work out. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to go over with a, a detail spray which would be almost, it, it would be almost the same as if I was just to wash the boat and dry it. So um, first things first, I'm going to go get some detail spray in a rag and kind of wipe this down and we'll see how the water spots look after that. I'm going to go ahead and say they're going to be there. I've done this before, uh, but we'll, we'll go ahead and try it anyways just to make sure at least the surface is clean for the next step, uh, the next step of cleanliness. So let me get some rags and I'll be right back. All right, so before we get started here, I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm not a uh, I'm, I'm not an affiliate of any of these products. Um, I'm not making anything. If I'm promoting anything, uh, I'm not. They're not paying me to. Basically, uh, they're not paying me to promote any of these uh, these products that I will be using. So that being said, let's get started. First thing I'm going to use is this uh, Meguiar's Quick Detailer. Uh, basically, you just spray it on, wipe it off with a clean rag. And it should bring the surface clean, but I think with the water spots, you know, we have a really heavy mineral type water here, um, really hard water. I think it's going to not really put a dent in it, so we'll try it out though. Alrighty, so if you look, as you can see, definitely, definitely quite a bit of of water spots left. Uh, I did a pretty good job of getting it all out, especially right here. Um, and this is really heavy, heavy spot. Uh, didn't really touch it right there. And normally, what you do to check these is take like a, a spotlight and shine the beam on the paint itself and look at the actual beam of light in the paint and you can see the de the flaws in the paint itself uh, but I mean this is so bad you really don't even have to do that so we can definitely see that it's there um, okay so next thing we're going to try uh, is something I read on the internet uh, it's vinegar and water so basically you take vinegar put it in a spray bottle like half of it and then the rest the other half is like water uh, it's I, I think it's kind of used as like a window cleaner uh, but we're gonna go ahead and try that. They say it works. We'll see how it, how it happens. Alright, so I guess basically we're just going to spray it on and wipe it off and see what happens. So. Okay, I'm not sure if this did much more than just make it smell bad. Uh, as you can see, still got a lot right here. This spot's looking pretty good. I mean, I guess it did a little bit, but we've definitely still got some water spots, um, especially right in here on the heavy spot. Just crazy amount of water spots. So there's another thing here uh, I kind of want to try, and I've told that works well with water spots, and that is a clay bar kit. I'm using the clay kit from Meguiar's as well. I do like Meguiar's brand things they seem to be doing well for me um, so we're gonna try uh, we're gonna try doing the 
the clay bar in just these spots and see if we can get those spots out. Um, if we can, awesome. We might take it one more step further. Uh, if not, we'll see what, what I can do, what I can gather with the stuff I've got and see if we can uh, if we cannot figure something out. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this clay bar process. It's a pretty quick and easy process if you guys haven't done it before. Um, but I'll basically just give you guys a rundown as I'm doing it. So basically, what you're gonna do, guys, is take your detailer and wet the surface. It doesn't have to be crazy wet, uh, but you gotta get it wet, damp. And then after you get it damp, you're gonna take your clay bar and just rub it all over the surface. Uh, you can rub it for a while, you can rub it for just a second, but it should take all the impurities out of this paint. Should. So we'll go ahead and get that uh, started. Oh, and once you're done doing this, all you gotta do is just take your microfiber that's included with the kit, usually, and just uh, wipe off the excess uh, detail spray. <laughs> all right so i think it did a lot but not quite enough so let's take a look if you look from afar decent you know we've got some scuffs and stuff um but you can still see some water spots and let me let me try something here. Okay, so taking the light test into consideration, we'll do the side I haven't touched yet. This will be an example of what it looked like before we started. As you can see, full of water spots, scratches, scuffs, absolutely nasty. Just covered. Now, we'll go to the side that we've done already. As you can see, a hundred times better. You can actually see the <laughs> the flake in the paint, but there's still, if you look really close, you can see the water spots. There's still water spots there. Especially right in here on the heavier spots. Still a lot of water spots. And then down there, it's just, ugh. So, we're going to try a couple other things here. Now, I don't have much to choose from, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a cleaner wax from Meguiar's. Again, I'm not sponsored by Meguiar's. I just like Meguiar's stuff. But before, before we do the cleaner wax, I want to try this uh, Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish. Now, I know it says Mag and Aluminum Polish, but this stuff actually... It cuts, okay, and it gets in, and it, it, it. I've noticed that, like, on mag and aluminum things that I've used this on, you could really, really bring out a mirror finish uh, on on whatever you're using on. Also, I've noticed that with this stuff, you can use it on paint, and it brings out scratches, everything. So if it can bring out a scratch, maybe it can bring out some water spots. So we'll, we're going to try this first and see how it does. And then on top of that, we're going to go with the cleaner wax, uh, which will not only clean uh, the paint, but also put a, a, obviously a layer of wax on top, uh, preventing, helping prevent water spots from returning. So we're going to get started with this mag and aluminum polish first. Okay, so we did the aluminum polish, and I want to add, right now, I did use, I, I screwed up. I used a dirty rag, which I probably should not have done, and I'm not sure how much it affects it, but this is actually powder coat. It's not really paint. Uh, so, we'll see what happens. Alright, as you can see, I'm not seeing really any water spots left, but what I am seeing now are swirl marks. I didn't do down here, I just did like from here up. So I'm not seeing any water spots, just swirl marks. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that cleaner wax out and really scrub it to see if we can get 
the little fine scratches out and maybe the rest of these water spots out with the cleaner wax itself. So we're gonna try that. I'm gonna grab a new rag uh, to remove the cleaner wax, but we're gonna go ahead and apply it and let it dry. All right, now let's go ahead. It's, it's pretty well dry. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take a clean rag and wipe off all the excess here. Make sure I get it good and clean. Okay, so we'll look at the final product here. So if you, as you can see, a thousand times better, this is what it used to look like. This is what it looks like now. A thousand times better. Still got a few swirl marks here and there. Um, I think the only way I'm going to get that, the rest of this stuff out is to actually buff the, uh, the paint itself. Uh, as you can see here, definitely still some water marks in this paint. But overall, I think we've done pretty well, especially down here. Uh, we got some water spots still, uh, you know. In comparison to that stuff, not too bad. So basically, yeah, you know, the only way to get more of this stuff out, I think, will be to actually use a, a, a buffing compound and buff it, which I am really not good at, and I don't, I don't trust myself to do it. But I'm going to do it anyways because I've got the stuff. So, so what I'm going to do is actually use a two-step uh, buffing process. This is for black. Uh, the exact stuff I have here is for black paint. Uh, you got a white, which is a, a fir first stage. Uh, basically, it's going to cut really good. And this is a black. It's going to be your uh, your color, kind of like a color additive type deal. And kind of hopefully polish it up real good. And then we can maybe put a wax over top of it. So I'm going to get my really crappy high-speed buffer out and probably do a really bad job and screw this all up. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, and uh, a disclaimer. If you're anything like me and have no idea what you're doing, uh, your best bet is to just not do it. So don't do this at home unless you know what you're doing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of put a couple dots here and there. You don't want to overdo this stuff. I know that I know that because it will sling it everywhere. So I'm just gonna put a couple dots. Ooh, that's a lot. Dot 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 dot. Rub it in so it doesn't sling that much. I'm going to turn this on the lowest setting possible because uh, this doesn't really fit and I suck. Okay, so I think it's starting to go dry a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and just add a, a pinch more on these uh, heavy spots. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and change pads. Uh, this pad is kind of dirty. Dirty in a sense is I've I used it with wax, so I don't know how it's really gonna affect it, but we'll, I guess we'll find out. So next, I'm gonna use the uh, the second stage, the black, and go over that.
All right, so so far it's looking actually really good. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and use the cleaner wax and put kind of like a, a little sealant and kind of maybe get into the last little bits of, of junk out of this paint with that cleaner wax. I'm going to actually, I think, I think I'm going to do the clay bar on it. I'm going to, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this little clay bar thing first. Then we're going to go over it with the cleaner wax and I'll, I'll get back and show you guys the finished product. All right, guys, so the finished product now I'd say that was a little bit faster than the other side so we'll go ahead and compare these two uh, so the first side we did pretty much everything uh, and I think the best thing that worked was the clay bar and then the cleaner wax so we'll, let's compare so we'll say clay bar and cleaner wax as you can see Definitely still a few water spots, but overall good. You can see the flake in the paint still looking great. And this is what it used to look like. So definitely a huge improvement uh, with the cleaner wax and clay bar. So what I did on this side, uh, I took the spray detailer and cleaned off the crap that was on it basically. And then I took a two stage uh, buffing compound and used a high-speed buffer and actually buffed the stuff um, to see if it would do any better than the other side now this side had a little bit more deeper scratch like this side had a little more deep scratches than the other side um, and what I did after doing the buffing compound was actually clay barred it and I'm not sure if the two-stage buff you, sh you shouldn't clay bar after it but I did, and it seemed like it, like, like it kind of left a, a weird, like, I don't know, kind of a, you probably won't be able to see it in the camera, and I'm being really picky, but, anyways, it felt like, it, it dulled it a little bit. It took some of the sheen out of it. So, anyways, I did that, and then I took the cleaner wax and put it on top of that. Um, so, two-stage buffing compound, high-speed buff, uh clay bar which I don't think I should have done and then a cleaner wax on top so now let's compare okay so as you can see definitely have some water spots down here and that's a big scuff I don't think it's going to come out very easily uh, as we go on up still has a few water spots in the edges but overall a million times better there's a couple scratches right here but you know going from that to that uh, definitely no complaints and guys if you want to try and prevent these water spots from happening always 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 keep a good wax on the boat um, every time you wash the boat you need to reapply the wax uh, you want to get as many layers of wax on there as you can because it will actually build up over time and help prevent uh, water spots like that from sticking and actually ruining the paint which unfortunately where those water spots have been on there for so long, I'm thinking it might have actually hurt the paint and kind of stained itself into the paint. So I'm gonna use a little demonstration here for you guys that don't know a whole lot about this stuff. Basically, a wax, this spot here doesn't really have any wax on it. And uh, as you can see, the water kind of sticks, doesn't really do a whole lot. Over here, the water will just run right off. And it won't leave any kind of crazy spot it does a lot lot less a uh, lot less sitting uh, it, it, they call it a uh, they call it hydrophobic um, basically meaning uh, doesn't like water so on the compound side over here as you can see takes it right off doesn't hold water very well likes to kind of just brush the water right off and that's what we're looking for we want that water to bubble up just like that so you can easily just come back with a towel a drying towel basically like if you get it off the wall off the lake you just get keep you a towel on the, on the boat a nice soft drying towel and you can just come back and wipe that water off like that and you'll never know it will keep your boat really clean um, you don't have to scrub just lightly wipe and uh, yeah it won't hurt your boat one bit so yeah, there you go. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, it's as, it's as informative as I would like it to be for you all. Uh, I know I did. I had to do a lot of research to find, you know, a good method 
to uh, remove these water spots. And unfortunately, we didn't get them completely removed, but I'd say we got them a good 95% gone to where, you know, just looking at it, it would look like it's pretty well showroom quality. So thank you guys so much for watching. I also want to add, if you look down in the description below, I've got a, a bunch of links for you guys uh, to where you can check out, you know, products that I use uh, in the videos, such as, you know, these uh, Meguiar's things, all this, you know, all the stuff that I use today. I'll try and get a link for you guys. So if you guys want to check it out for yourself, you can. Uh, I'm not telling you to. Just, you know, if you want to look at them, see what they're looking at, you can see reviews on it, whatever, and go from there. I'm just going to provide the link for you guys in the description below. Also, also in the description below, I've got my Facebook page linked right there at the top. If you guys want to go check that out, hit that like button on the Facebook page. Uh, you can follow me on there. I post a, I post a lot on the Facebook page. Uh, basically anything fishing interesting, anything outdoors type stuff that I find interesting or funny, I post on the Facebook page because I'm on there a lot more than I'm on YouTube. So make sure you guys check that Facebook page out and leave a like on that. Again, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for you guys, and now I gotta I gotta finish the rest of the boat, which I really don't feel like doing, but I, I guess I gotta do it. Uh, I might I might do the I might do the little the buff, you know, that was a lot faster, a whole lot faster. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to don't forget to share this with everyone you know. Anyone you know who's got a boat and it's got dirty water spots, whatever, uh, share this video with them, guys. It might just help them out and get them going in the right direction to have a beautiful, shiny, mirror-like finish on their boat. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. It really helps the channel out when you guys do that. I appreciate it all. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I'll see you all on the next one. Oh,